So in this talk, I'm going to define the notion of separately continuous function for a function of multiple variables. The notation is a little different from that for two variables because I'm using subscripts for the different uh, inputs. So the function of inputs x1, x2 to xn, there's a point a1, a2, an in the domain. So this is x1 is a1, x2 is a2. So this is an actual point, there's actual numerical values. The first thing I'm going to define is you pick a number i between 1 and n. First thing I'm going to define is what what does it mean for f to be continuous in x i at the point. So f is continuous in x sub i at this whole point. If the function what should the function be? Well, x sub i maps to what? f of a1, a2, all the way to a n. But you substitute a, a i by x i. Yeah. So it's going to basically be the inputs are going to be all the coordinates are going to be, by the way, if you haven't seen the other videos where I explain conceptually what it is, you should look at those first because this is just sort of translating that into practice. So it's the f of all the coordinates other than i are just the a thing. Those are just constants. The ith coordinate you put xi and all the coordinates after that are also just constants. So this function is continuous at what point? At that point, a1, a2. No, okay. This is just a function of one variable. So mm. it's continuous at uh, xi equals ai. Yes. So this whole function is continuous in this variable at this point. If this function, just a function of one variable now, because all the others are fixed, is continuous at xi equals ai. And this definition applies for each i. So we say that f is separately continuous in all variables. Why do I keep saying the word separately? It's because there's another notion of continuous which is different. Jointly. Well, it's you can call it jointly continuous, but, but when most people use the word continuous, they mean that joint continuity. So, f is separately continuous at this point in all the variables if it's, if, if what? if it is continuous in each variable at the point. If f is continuous in each x i for i in 1, 2, 3, n at this point. And so at if, if all those n There'll be n many continuity conditions. And if all of those are satisfied, then you say that f is separately continuous at the point. Okay. 